Hi, Gary here. Retirement yearning. You know there's these three phases in life. The first is learning up until your age, early 20s. Then there's earning, you know, from then until maybe 60 or so. And then yearning, you know, that time after retirement until, you know, you leave this earth. But I want to start with talking about that transition that takes place between the earning and the yearning. And first I want to talk about a story. So as a man I met, had turned about 60 years old, had a couple meetings with him, uh, was going to be retiring in about a month, and he was very anxious, very nervous, he tells us he really didn't know what he was going to do after retirement. Well anyway, he goes to his retirement party and they run out of liquor, so he decides he'll volunteer, runs over to the local store, and pulls up to the store, puts his car in park, turns off the ignition, and slumps over, has a massive heart attack, and dies. Uh, this is on his retirement day. And it really hit me hard way back when this happened because I realized that this particular gentleman had absolutely no idea what he was going to do when he got to retirement. So uh, what do you do about that? I mean, how do you prepare yourself a year or two in advance? That's what it should be when you think you're going to switch gears and kind of go into a different mode. And let's call it reinvention. Now, I, I learned something from the strategic coach called the retirement trick, and it goes like this. Take a piece of paper, put it into four columns. In the very first column heading, it should say, what do I immediately want to stop doing? Okay? I want you to take three minutes and quickly write down all the things you just don't want to do anymore. It might be things you're doing at work, might be things you're doing at home, but just you just want to eliminate these things. So write those down. Then in the second column, put why would you immediately stop doing it? You know, really look into what's the reason why you don't want to be doing this. That may take you five or ten minutes to run through that column to say why. Now, the third column is what would you start or continue doing? So the title is that, and that third column, and in that column, again, a real quick sprint, three minutes. Write down the things you really love doing right now, or maybe things that you will start doing after your reinvention. Okay? Final column is why would you continue or start doing this? It may take you five or ten minutes to go through that and then write those all down. Now that whole exercise may take you 30 minutes, but it might be the very best 30 minutes to avoid a very bad outcome like the gentleman earlier. And you might be saying to yourself, well that's great and go through all this, so what do I do next? Well, what you want to do next, you got a year or two to go for this whole reinvention. Now remember, retirement, the definition of retirement is, is a horrible term. Baby boomers, we hate this term because it says, uh, to retreat, to withdraw, to seclude, uh, to step back, basically to die. And that's why it doesn't sit well. I don't think it sit well with our parents and everyone on the anyone before them as well, but it certainly doesn't sit well with us. So what do you need to do? Well, you got a year or two, go through that first column, what do you want to immediately stop doing, and start writing down goals, something, objectives, things that will allow you to get rid of those things. We want that column to be completely empty by the time you reinvent yourself and you fill up that third column with all the things you're going to continue doing or start doing. So I, it's a great exercise. I've put a lot of people through it. It's really worked really well. Now, if you want to know how to uh, help yourself more, come to a, a seminar we have on uh, taking charge of your wealth. It'll be coming up in the fall and it may help you along this whole process as well. Or just call us for a consultation. Be glad to talk to you about this whole retirement trick, tricking yourself into reinventing yourself. So until next time, enjoy.